What's your favorite Bible verse? <laughs> oh, uh, gotta be, gotta be Ephesians uh, six seventeen. Uh, uh, check in with me and do your job. Lay on the bed. They know the rest. A lot of people don't know that that's Juicy J got that from Ephesians. Welcome to Music City Mall. Uh, this is another kind of town slash cultural center of um, Louisville. Basically the way Music City Mall works. You got Music City Mall. You got Cinemark. You got uh, you got, uh, you got Cinemark. Um, so the story behind the mall, uh, it used to be Vista Ridge Mall. It used to just be like any other mall in Louisville. And then some uh, Doug Dimadome ass nigga came and bought the whole mall. He's super into Jesus. So it's kind of like Bible verses written all around the mall now. So as you can see, you know, Friday, typical Friday, the mall is junk. No. The mall is jumping. It don't look like it, but that's because the people mainly in the stores. This is one of that dude's cars. I'm actually not joking right now. What dude? <laughs> the, dude that bought, the dude that bought the mall, he just put his cars in a random spot. Yo, and he has like all the specs. In so everybody can see how. This type of oil. So that everybody can see how, how, what level he balling on. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the president, but you know, he me. We always have our you know, entertainment, going at all times. This prime time, baby. This prime time, baby. This is the biggest stage in the city. The biggest stage in the city. All the sought after stages in the country. He wrote this for Drake. Niggas think Drake, niggas think Drake ain't got Ghost Riders. This is where the song originally. I ain't need no one to dance. Get that shit. Shakira here. <laughs> Some of the businesses we got popping. Uh, downstairs we got Dallas home, okay? Because, you know, we very, we, we trying to make something very specific. To, uh, to the DFW lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? You could go to Haverty's, you could go to, you know, whatever furniture store, but it's not gonna give you, it's not gonna give you that feeling of the DFW, it's not gonna give you that feeling like it's the best buy here, but it also might be cows across the street. And that's the type of aesthetic we got going in Dallas home. Toys and gifts, you know? It was toys uh, when they opened, and uh, just through a, uh, a kind of complicated line of uh, marketing research and development, uh, consumer testing. They found that uh, and gifts was a, a good direction to go in. We got Topic. Topic used to be Hot Topic. Uh, but as you can see, the hot was, you know, we, we said, hey, let's simplify things. We got the hot out of there, so now it's just Topic, you know, and we basically got the same kind of door giving you real like, you know, Tim Burton vibes, you know, that type of energy. But you go in and it's just a nice place to relax and reflect on life. And you know, think about why you came to this mall. Why did you come to this mall? So it looks like, it looks like uh, they took the Ten Commandment tombstone and all the Bible verses out of the mall. I thought this was a free country, but I guess some people uh, just hate Jesus and and want to take uh, want to take my city's ability to to show that to the world away. So you win, cancel culture. Congratulations. You know, who are three people that you cannot live without? Three people I couldn't live without. Um. My mother and father are two. Yeah, true. Two great parents. Not everybody has. Not everybody has that. And um, three. Oh, that's a tough question, man. Marvin, about to be real disappointed. I'm gonna say my mother. Uh, my father. And. Fuck. 
fuck, I don't know. Everybody else can go to hell. I don't have a third. That's what I'm working on. You want to be the third person? Hit my, hey, hit my DM. Hit my DM. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't got to be that intense. We could just chill. Or, you know, you could be somebody that I can't live without. <laughs> what are words of advice you would tell yourself like five to ten years ago? Listen to people. Listening is free and it's the quickest way to learn. And more and more, it feels like, uh, especially I think for artists, Mm -hmm. uh, you need to talk all the time and you don't you get a lot more out of listening so listen what is your favorite medium of art that is not music film for sure yeah. I think I got a lot of my love for music from my father mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's probably the same with film I I, uh, I was lucky I was lucky enough to have a dad that was like into artistic things and was willing to take the time to like talk about, hey, why, why did you like that, you know? Yeah, and and music and film are two. Uh, comic books are a close third. What is like one or two of your major career goals? One is to be able to uh, pay my bills, uh, to to pay my bills and keep myself alive off of my art. It's not to be rich. I, 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 if, if that's, you know, what happened, that'd be dope, but, uh, I'd be happy just being able to sustain myself making art. I'd like to be able to sustain myself and I'd like to be able to make, uh, make people happy mm. with my art. It doesn't necessarily mean that my art has to immediately make you happy, but I'd like, I'd like mm. my art to help people in that's some good. capacity. Those are the two. How has the crown slash your music family shaped you? How do you think they've influenced you? They haven't influenced me at all. I'm, they they all crusty. None of them look as good as me. Certainly none of them smell as good as me. Hmm. Uh, and basically, you know, I'm tired of carrying, I'm just tired of carrying everything on my back. You know, that's just how I feel. No disrespect to them, that's just how I feel. No, they, I, I, I'll give the, I'll give a little bit of the real answer too. Mm -hmm. They made me so much better at everything that involves being a rapper, it's not just rapping. Yeah. Uh, I. There's surprisingly more that goes into being a rapper. Than oh that. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Especially the more popular the genre gets, uh, the the more you know. It's on you to have a present to understand how this new app works that everybody is pushing their music on, and it's on you to blah blah blah. And being in uh, being in the group, I got a much better idea what I'm doing business-wise when it comes to my music. And uh, on the artistic side of it, I just became so much better of a rapper, rapping next to uh, Kawasaki and Donovan and uh black even when he was in the group i i like i i used to be way more cerebral and i'm able to relax and just jump into things a lot more because of uh working with them for sure real secret of taco hut is you come thinking it's a normal taqueria but they actually got a 9.5 to 10 out of 10 burger they didn't have a fork and a knife but you know i got two forks and we gonna make it happen this remind me of where i came from we ain't always have knives mm, you, you make know, do you know what i'm saying oh it's just knives specifically we ain't always <laughs> have knives sometimes all you got is two forks